Movie notes on The Wedding Planner, 2001 film, 5 August 2024 viewing. I just finished viewing this Monday, 5 August 2024. Yeah. Over 20 years later, here I am watching it again. And I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And my description for this reading is, it's a fiction film about a female wedding planner who helps a man, woman, couple plan their wedding and it ends up falling in love with the man. Yes. So, you know, all professional at weddings, da da da, gets, assign gets a new assignment to, to this one couple, but uh, she had met the man before he saved her when she was trying to save her shoe after stepping in a manhole color you know, and that kind of thing. And, and so there's the, they meet and then, oh, guess who's wedding she's helped plan. So that's, yeah, and then they fall in love there. Um, but they both uh, go, fall, all, they plan to marry somebody else, not necessarily fall in love with the other person, but they plan to marry the somebody else. Um, but the other person in the relationships fell in love with them, and then they're like, they don't go through it. So they dump the other person, and they end up together. Spoiler alert. Um, and so, I, I remember watching this, and it was, a, it was funny watching this. So I'm, Leonardi is Roman German, so Roman like a long time ago, um, but modern day Italy. And I remember watching this and being like, I want the I want the Italian guy, but like I don't want the Italian guy in the movie. But I want like I want my Italian guy. If I have an Italian guy, I I want I want my Italian guy, and I want to live in Italy. And that was like <laughs> a little me uh, watching this growing up. Um, I, I might have been teenage years. I, I, I the last time I watched this was more recent than over twenty years ago, um, and. It, but yeah, so I was like, I personally this does not describe me, because <laughs> um, I would I, I I want my I want my I want my I want my Seishon. I want my Thomas Seishon. I'm like he's got great hair. We gotta have babies. He can have his. Did they go? He's gonna you know, take care of care of her, and they're gonna have three sons or whatever. And and Seishon's like babies, M many tuplets. And you're gonna speak Italian, and I'm like, oh, swoon, you're so handsome. Yes. Okay. So there we go. See, I say yes to marrying you, Tomas Station. Will you marry me, Tennis Corley Leonardi? Will you become a Leonardi? Oh. Okay. Anyway. Um. So th th that that remains unchanged in watching. So I was like, oh, the ro the romantic in me. <laughs> For my Italian. Um, there's a, it was an interesting thing, and I think it kind of continues to this day, is the vast majority of biracial couples in fiction movies tend to be white man, for, with white people, tend to be white man, non-white woman. And I don't know if that's just, non-white women are, like, insanely insecure. <laughs> I mean, I think the movie Save the Last Dance kind of broaches that, of, like, if a white woman ends up with somebody who's not white, they are the problem and they're stealing men from their community. And I'm like, movies like this, right? Um, there's a bunch of them, you know, the white man and non-white woman. I'm like, are we just that much kinder of human beings? We're that much better of an audience, that, right? That they can actually make these movies and they're profitable, All right? Um, shows we're better humans. I was like, eh, right? And, and they go, oh, well, since it's going to be a white audience, since it has a white man in it, you know, we might as well poke fun of the white women. I don't know, that's kind of how it comes across. And so there was Save the Last Dance when I was growing up. More recently, there's, um, let's see, what are some, the, originally Aquaman was white, white, and then they changed it to, what, Pacific Islander in white for the 2018 Aquaman. And then A Simple Favor, right? Um... At least, you know, the woman's at least part white. Well, there were two white women in that one, right? Uh, um, and an Asian guy. So, but it's still, if there's a pairing racially that has infinitely more shock value than any other biracial pairing, it is white woman and non-white man. And it's still ex insanely rare compared to the other direction. Um... And so it's just, and it, it, there's, there's the caution there too, because right there, it, it's not just that, it's like the white woman who actually accepts her ancestry, because there's a bunch of people, 
like the vast majority of Latin America have zero Na Native American blood in them, right? Um, <laughs> um, but they say they're Latino and ignore that their ancestors came from Portugal or Italy or Spain or France, you know, um, and ignore the fact that that's where the languages come from, right? I mean, they're kind of, if there's a demographic group um, that kind of denies the ancestry part the most, I would say, from my life experience, it's definitely Latinos, um, right? They're like frame it as Spanish is Central and South American. And I'm like, as a Native American, who's not even from those parts, I'm, like, I, I'm offended for those people. I mean, that's, that wasn't their language. It's, you're stuck in colonizer mode. Um, <laughs> go back to Europe. <laughs> but it was like, so they don't qualify, right? Because they don't even accept their own European ancestry. So I'm talking about the shock value of from people who've lived their life um, being true to their ancestry. So like if somebody were all of a sudden, you know, they, they've said their entire life they're Latino and then they're like, all of a sudden, oh, I'm of Spanish ancestry. They don't count, right? They weren't loyal to their family in the first place. Which is also, I think, a big critique on like, I, that I've experienced with Latinos is, you know, they say they care about family, but then they deny their ancestry. And it's like, well, it, it's, it's a business model, right? Um, in, in that sense, uh, is, yeah, they just, most people do care. It's, it's a unique to the Latin America, at least in the mainstream, right, is the spin angle of like, like they're Native American from Central or South America, even if, even though that's like, what, 5% of the population of women. So it's kind of like, well, no, not all of you are. <laughs> but deny, deny, deny. That's like the, what, Holocaust deniers? Only <laughs> instead of denying somebody else's existence, it's denying their own family's existence, which is just kind of like, I, 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 I yeah, it's, okay. Um, so my point there being is it's, it's about the people who are, honest and loyal to their white ancestry, like as in European descent. You can be white and not be European. That's called, right, it's like albino. And a lot of us who have some Native American blood don't, uh, might look white. Right. Uh, so there's, <laughs> there's that too. Um, but yeah, the people who have are, like, the shock value I'm trying to describe here is it comes from when somebody is true to the, or their European ancestry and it has been kind of for their whole life. It's a, it's a loyalty thing, right? Otherwise it's just, oh, they're doing it to get home wrecks and, or tear white people apart from each other and steal the, steal the valuable white men. And, you know, that's what Hollywood's been in my lifetime. Um, and spin it as a fairy tale and stuff. And so, and I'm like, save the last dance was not a fairy tale. A simple favor is not a fairy tale, right? And so like, I'd, are white people that just that much more woke than everybody else, like especially white women, that the movies made about them aren't in the fairy tale category when it comes to biracial stuff. I'm like, that's kind of cool in its own way. Are is are white women the most woke? And I, oddly enough, that's actually reflected in Hollywood. Um, it's kind of weird, but that came up during this, and I'm just like, yeah, that detail. The biracial white woman and non-white man oh, is very underrepresented still to this day at least per my per my field of view so there we go that's my movie notes on the wedding planner 2001 film 5 august 2024 view